Hello everybody and welcome back to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me. I think that for today we're just gonna do a low-key water with me video. I've done a couple water with me um, videos in the past. I don't do them very often. Normally I will do plant chores and then maybe I will like incorporate watering some plants into that but to be honest with you i need to film today because i'm trying to stay consistent with my upload schedule and i also need to water today and i also need to edit tonight and you know it's just a it's just busy days lately like i've been saying recently um especially if you've been watching my vlog channel so the obvious solution is to combine the filming and the watering so I present to you this water with me video, which I hope you will enjoy. Um, feel free to water your plants along with me. I do have a lot to get through. We'll see how much I end up getting done. But yes, we do have some thirsty plants on our hands and I'm hoping to be filming my updated plant tour video later this week. So, you know, I don't want my plants to be all janky and dehydrated in that video. I want them to be nice and lush, not drooping. So yeah, we need to do the watering before I go ahead and can film that video. I am watching Dakota's plants alocasia repot video. Um, well, actually, it's almost finished now because I've had it playing while I was cleaning the kitchen and everything to get ready to do my watering. But I'll probably have the rest of that playing in the background while I do my watering because I love watching YouTube videos while I water. It makes it so much more fun, especially when I feel like I just have so much and it feels overwhelming if I can create like a fun little activity out of it and pair it with something that doesn't feel overwhelming. Anyways, I'm gonna start with my this kind of area and my cabinet over here i usually like to pick a point to start where i feel like the plants are the thirstiest or that it's i've like gone the longest since watering that area and then i work from there like around the whole house i also have my cozy cup of tea of course and yeah i'm gonna grab out my jugs and my fertilizer and everything and then we're just gonna get started okay i'm kneeling on the floor but i just wanted to talk to you about what i'm gonna be using to fertilize today so i have my jugs um which is what i'm gonna be mixing everything into one of them is still kind of well it's still all the way full from last time um but i have been using the past week or so i mean i've had this for much longer than that but i kind of like to rotate between the liquid fertilizers I'm using. Sometimes I use my general hydroponics and then I kind of give my plants a bit of a break from that. And right now they're kind of on a break from that and I'm using the GrowTech Vitamax Pro. This is, it says it's a growth enhancer. So I feel like this just kind of boosts your plants but it's not a proper fertilizer. It says apply every week during the growing season, use as part of a complete fertilizer system. Um, so, I don't know. To me, I kind of group this in with something like Super Thrive, um, but I don't really know like whether they're actually similar or not, just in my brain. It says, encourages green growth, strong root development, and improved stress resistance during critical stages in the plant life cycle. Regular use leads to robust plants and larger blooms, fruits, and flowers. Ideal for greenhouse vegetables and ornamentals. Um, so I'm just using this, you know? My plants seem to like it, and why not? So we're gonna be going in with that again today. And then I use four droppers full uh, per four liters. It's super easy to mix up as well, which is nice. And then as I was grabbing this, I was like, you know what? I've really been wanting to try out my BIOS plant probiotics because I've been using the BIOS um, fertilizer. They make like an all natural plant fertilizer. Um, and I've been using this for quite a while now, like. A couple of months at least i'm just kind of testing out on some of my plants and i've been keeping track in my notes and everything to see what kind of results i'm getting on those plants so every couple weeks i kind of pull it out and add it to some more plants um so i thought i would grab that just in case there is a couple of plants that i want to add that into today but anyways i haven't tried out their plant probiotics product yet it's a liquid, it comes in this little dropper bottle. It says, helps your plants fight off disease, feeds leaves and roots with micronutrients. Plants don't need watering as often 
look at that. It's the third point that's selling me, you guys, because I am such an underwaterer. I'm sure my plants are always going to appreciate extra probiotics, so I figure why not mix this up today as well. It says that you can do it full, like um, apply it foliarly, or you can water it through. So I'm going to water it through. Add one mil of probiotic per liter of water. So I'll need four mils per each of my jugs, and. This has a little measurement, so it's going to be about four droppers full per bottle, which is the same as my fertilizer with my other dropper thing. I have all of my fertilizers and little planty things on my plant cart, and the other day my boyfriend was looking at it, and he was like, it looks like you're a freaking chemist or something. <laughs> like, just all of these different liquids and potions. and Anyways, it's very fun to try out um, all of these different things and see how they work. So I'm gonna use up what I already have mixed and then I will need to mix up some more. I'm gonna go grab the first batch of plants. We're getting serious right off the bat. Monstera Thai Constellation. She has been doing really, really well since I repotted. Like, look at how beautiful. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I love her. This is what the new leaf ended up hardening off into. Like how pretty is that um and she's now in the molly's aeroid mix that's what i potted her in into this pink pot and yeah she's doing great so far i was a little nervous about putting her in this pot because obviously i can't see the roots anymore i've always had this plant in a clear pot so that i could monitor the roots but i'm hoping that she's just grown out of rotting on me um so we'll see but so far so good so i'm gonna move her into the sink so that we can water her i'm also gonna take off my little sachets i was calling them sachets in the video that i made about this i thought you could say it both ways but apparently that was something i invented in my own brain so we're gonna take off these thingies <laughs> because i think that they're just done right now so I'm just gonna toss those oh my goodness oh i'll put her over here oh she's so heavy in that pot now holy smokes Ooh, gosh, I love this plant so much. Okay, let's water her. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to, should I put the bios in her? I feel like I kind of want to do that. She deserves just like the best treatment, you know? Okay, so I'm going to one tablespoon per six inch pot. This is like a pretty big pot. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons. I feel like the Molly's mix and this fertilizer is just gonna be like an elite combo. She's really getting the special treatment lately. Just kind of put it evenly along the top there. That's what it looks like when you first put it on. And then it just kind of gets watered through. My battery died already, but I just had to document that I gave the BIOS to the Monstera. So that is all done. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit more just to make sure that we've watered it thoroughly. Now this one, I have to really make sure that it drains because it just has this like annoying kind of thing at the bottom <laughs> where the water comes out. So I usually let it sit and kind of just drain on its own in the sink for a while and then I'll move it onto here and I'll just keep kind of tilting it to make sure it, it all gets drained out, especially for this plant, you know? So yeah, that's kind of what I do with that style of pot. My beautiful peperomia is next. It's so dark here. Goodness, it's so rainy out today. It was actually sunny yesterday, but of course I wasn't filming yesterday. And it's honestly kind of hard to film in here when it's sunny because the sun, um, especially at this time of year, because the sun comes in so far and you can't really film in direct sun. It just doesn't look great. Um, so the best case scenario is when it's kind of overcast, but still bright, which is very specific. <laughs> um, so I just kind of have to make the best with whatever lighting I have going on. 
And my ring light's broken, so I'm thinking of purchasing more lighting for my videos, but I don't know. I'm just, I kind of hate the way artificial lighting looks, but we'll see. I might do some research and see if I can find a setup that I'm going to actually think looks nice um but for now we're just gonna roll with the kind of dark gloomy vibes oh yeah by the way i'm kind of obsessed with peperomia lately which is funny because i used to always say that i didn't like peperomia but um this one specifically i love it so stinking much i think this is the peperomia hope um and then i also have the peperomia parallel or gosh what else is it oh my goodness one of these vines is all wrinkly it looks unwell um the heck hmm that definitely does not look great um the other peperomia parallel oh that's weird it's like only some of the those ones are okay oh oh my gosh this came off somehow. That's why it looks unwell because it's literally not even attached. It's literally not even attached to the plant. Okay, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, it literally rotted off somehow. So that sucks, but we still have the rest of the plant that looks healthy, thankfully. Um, anyways, so this Peperomia Hope, I have been loving so, so much. And then also my Peperomia Parallel, or oh my goodness the botanical name for it is on the tip of my tongue um peperomia i know as soon as i go to edit this i'm gonna remember oh my gosh it's literally on the tip of my tongue okay well i'll put it on screen but that other peperomia i am in love with and then we have my calathea i'm just chatting to you guys for a while and then i'll probably do a time lapse and I'll just fly through a bunch of plants but um anyways <laughs> I'm just I'm just chatty for a few minutes here okay um so next we have my Calathea Warshwixii which uh hasn't been doing amazing I really want to put this plant in pond I think I might actually do that this week um I really want to try transitioning it to a pond but I'm so scared to transition plants from soil to semi-hydro um, I've only done it with Leca in the plat in the past, but it was very hit or miss. Uh, I feel like Pond will be a little bit more forgiving, but I'm still just, I'm scared to do it. Um, but it, I just know this will be so much better in semi-hydro if I can actually um, transfer it to that successfully. So stay tuned for that because I'll probably film when I do it. It's growing, like it's always pushing out a new leaf. It's just between waterings, like it hates drying out at all. And I just find it really hard to keep up with, which is why I'm thinking that semi-hydro is gonna solve my problems, thinking slash hoping. So let's give her some water right now. drain the monstera a little bit oh my goodness Oop. okay oh goodness gracious i feel like the lighting will be better from this oops my multiflora is out of control and literally always either has blooms about to open or has active blooms. Right now it has blooms that are about to open on one side and then some that are coming in on the other side. I love this Hoya so much. I really need to tend to mine one of these days. Like it needs some TLC and it needs to be repotted, but that'll happen another day. My begonia lucerna is getting so big. Honestly, maybe I should put this into semi-hydro too. It's just been growing in water. My goodness, I have so much repotting to do. 
I could post like so many repotting videos, but I feel like I can't do too many of them. So I'm gonna probably have to repot a lot of these on my own time because I can't post like, I mean, I guess I could film them and then just post them like with other videos in between. I just don't like posting a bunch of content that's just the same thing, like back to back, you know? I tried to mix it up a little bit. All of the dropped blooms by my Hoya Multiflora. There's always so many to clean up. It's definitely a messy Hoya if you don't like having to clean up blooms. I don't recommend that one. Okay, I'm now gonna do the Millsbo wide. I have a system where I just take out a group of plants, put them in the sink, water them, move them over, let them drip, grab another batch of plants, water them, and then I just kind of move everyone through, kind of like a little factory line. Um, so that's just what I'm gonna do. And I'll probably, I really need to redo the weather stripping on this cabinet. I need to actually tidy this whole cabinet. Maybe I'll do that as well, because it's just, this one kind of looks like crap lately. To be real with you, this cabinet is not looking great. Like my Mills Tall. Actually, my Millsbow Tall doesn't even look amazing these days because I took out my big, beautiful Anthurium, but it looks a heck of a lot better than this one does. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just try to organize this a little bit as well. This is my new plant, my Philodendron Paraiso Verde. This is the new leaf that it's just come out with. I'm thinking that I'm going to order a heat mat for this plant because this variegation is very much temperature dependent. So I'm not really gonna get any variegation over the winter if I don't simulate a warm environment for it. Look at how cute this one is. That is so pretty. If I could get more leaves like that, I would be so happy. So yeah, I'm just gonna take all of these out. And did I mention that I'm gonna time lapse it? I think I mentioned that, but yeah, I'm just gonna hang out, get my planty things done right now, and then I'll pop in whenever I have something to say. <laughs> oh my gosh, it needs a moss pole already too. Look at those aerials. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, anyways, goodbye.
Okay, you guys, I just put the cabinet back together and it is looking so much better. Oh my goodness, I moved things around and added a couple of plants in here to kind of fill it out a little bit. And I'm just so, so happy with how it looks. I feel like, let me see if I can turn the light off if that's any better. Is that better? Not really. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me that it looks amazing. So I rearranged things a little bit and I moved my Monstera, one of my Monstera elbows in here, this full little pot here, has a bunch of cuttings that have started growing. Um, I moved this in here because I thought it would kind of, I don't know, I felt like I needed some bigger plants in this cabinet to kind of balance everything out because I had so many just like small little plants in here. So I added that one in, it fills in this little area, and also I'm sure that that Monstera is going to love being in here. Um, and then I also added in my Philodendron Painted Lady over here, which I think just looks so cute. I love her so much. She's really starting to grow back for me. And look at this newest leaf. It has this little dark variegation on it. Like, how cute is that? I love how pink the petioles are. Oh, such a beautiful plant. And I also boosted up my anthurium here, um, the Minahasa, so that it's getting a little bit of height and it's not so like hidden in the back there. And I think that that just looks amazing. And then I just kind of rearranged some small things, popped a Hoya up here to fill out this area, moved one of my Nepenthes over there to help fill out that side. And yeah, I'm just so, so happy with how it turned out. This looks honestly like a million times better than it was looking before. So I'm really glad that I took the time to do that. What an improvement. And now they're all watered, they're all fertilized and they should be very, very happy. Gosh, this cabinet's squeaky. Is anyone else's mills though super squeaky to close? Oh, you know why? I think it's because the cord is through the door on this side. Yeah, duh. So that's my fault. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, how cute. I'm so, so happy about that. Oh, it feels so good. So now my plan is going to be to water the rest of the living room plants here. There's actually not that many that need it. I'm going to do the ones up here and along the windowsill. And some of the hanging plants like my um, Viterifolium I think might be thirsty. Oh yeah, this one has that inflow too. So I'm going to take that down and check it out. Um, watered my UFO planter yesterday, so that one's good. I checked the Crimson Cream. Crimson Cream. Crimson Queen the other day um, and she was not due but I mean I can probably just feel right now she's super easy to tell um, no honestly I don't think she needs water yet she can go probably another few days that plant like never needs water it's crazy I'll probably have to do the moss pole of this one we repotted oh actually it's pretty moist um, we repotted my philodendron narrow in one of my last videos and he's loving his life. He's already got another inflow coming in and another new leaves coming in. So he's doing really, really well. But yeah, I'm just going to grab some of these plants and bring them over to the sink. Oh, and now this is empty because I took, I moved my elbow into the cabinet. Oh my gosh, it's like stuck. <gasps> okay, I think it's fine. I can, oh my gosh, did I actually like take off some of the finish of this table? No, it's fine. Anyways, I guess I don't need to have that out there anymore.
guys, the last thing that I think I'm going to do in this video is water my air plants. And what I do to water my air plants is just dunk them for about an hour um, every one to two weeks, kind of depending on the weather. For the winter, I'll probably do it every two weeks. And I am using fertilizer water for this, and I usually keep the water afterwards and use it to water, you know, a few more of my plants so that I'm not wasting it. But I just kind of make sure that they're submerged in there, and I'll come, like, you know, every 20 minutes or so and kind of move them around just to make sure, make sure they're all covered. So yeah, I just leave those guys in there for a bit, and then I take them out. This one is like looking a little not good actually. Why are you looking like this? This part of the leaf looks really soft and weird. I've never had that happen before. I wonder if it's because I turned my, I have my, we have our heat on now and this is kind of where the heat is blasting. Yeah, this is not normal. I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna take off the weird leaves. Like, I don't know. Those ones don't, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm taking them off, I guess. Oh my gosh. Is it the whole plant? When I grabbed it off the windowsill, I was like, oh, this one looks really thirsty or something. Oh my gosh, it literally, the whole plant seems unwell. You guys, I don't know what's going on with it. I literally don't know what's going on with it. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that, but I like can't stop. What the heck? This one is fine. This one looks healthy. What the heck? Okay. Um, I guess I'll let y'all know in a future video. I know that these can put out pups and then I think the like mother plant can die. But this all seems like one plant. Like, <laughs> and I don't see a pup. Unless, yeah, I honestly don't know. The center parts seem good, but those outer leaves seem very sus. Okay, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I guess we'll find out what's gonna happen with that. I've literally never had to troubleshoot an air plant issue before, and I only have two of them, so I really don't have a lot of experience. If anyone has any info, leave a comment for us all down below. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll pin your comment if you um, have some info to share, because I don't know what the heck is going on there. Okay, I forgot about the Viterifolium. This is actually gonna be the last one that we do in this video. This plant's getting massive, you guys. Like, the new leaves are coming out so long. I actually kind of can't believe it because forever, this plant was just so small and would not grow. And now look at her. She's giving the Politiflorum a run for his money. So yeah, she is doing amazing and blooming right now. I still, haven't really grasped Anthurium inflows, but this is what hers is looking like right now. Whatever phase that is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna give her a water. I just wanted to kind of show you her again. I feel like I've showed her recently, but can never show them too much. It's like the bog of eternal stench in there. So that is going to be it for this video. Hope that y'all enjoyed. I have a lot more watering to do, but I'm just gonna fly through it off camera. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it from me today. Thank you for joining me while I did my watering. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Hope that you are having a great week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.